Next question is from Rebecca Kara Mardian. What are the pros and cons of taking a couple of weeks off from the gym entirely once in a while? Well, more pros I'm, and cons. Yeah, if I'm talking well, to somebody who's super consistent, it's different than if I'm talking to somebody who's not consistent. So if you're super consistent, the pros are better recovery, you're going to get better results by doing this, less inflammation, less injury, a nice reset. The only con I can see for the super consistent person or you lose the mental effects that you can gain from exercise. I, I do this, right? I work out more for the mental effects than the physical. It's uh, like meditation for me. It makes me feel good. And so moving and doing that kind of stuff makes me feel good. Not going to the gym for two weeks, you guys would see a change in my personality. Not only sure. that, but m most people, mm. I mean, I can, I can count on one hand how many times I program this for a client. Mm. Most people struggle with consistency. Most people take two weeks off. Anyway, that's right. right. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Most people struggle with consistency that I don't need to program a week or two off in the in the mm -hmm. year because yeah, it, it happens. Naturally. It happens naturally, right? So I've re literally less than five clients have I ever had to say, "Hey, you know what? We should probably take a whole week off because you've been going consistent for the last year with no breaks. Like it's like that just doesn't happen that often. So, but you're right. If I'm now, if you're a fitness nerd and you love training and you're borderline addicted to lifting and you rarely ever take a day off there's tremendous value there's mm -hmm. tremendous value in somebody taking a, a week off from that and maybe doing something like more recuperative walking stretching you know doing other stuff yep um i think and the the what that study blew my mind when that came out yeah uh that we talked about um what a couple months ago it's, mm -hmm. or a while ago when it talked about the they had three months of consistent training and then they had a group that never missed any days for three months and then they had a group that every third week they took a whole week off mm -hmm. yeah. which sounds like a ton when you think about it over the course of three months like they're they're missing almost a month of training in there and they actually got the same results as the at client. the end there was no difference in yeah so i mean that just highlights how important the the week of rest and how beneficial yeah. it can be. Now, to, to the person off. who gets the mental benefits from activity, what you could do is go to the gym and go super easy right. and super light. So you'll get some of the mental benefits of moving and whatever. And this is how I would do it: is I would go two weeks, two weeks completely off for me would not be a mental would not be good. Well, yeah, and I, I definitely would stress that I wouldn't want stop the activity from mm -hmm. happening. It would just be a different form of it that was very much more recuperative, restorative, yeah. and, and low intensity. Uh, but to to make sure that you know you're 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 keeping the body in that path of of healing and blood flow and all that, like I think well, that's essential. Well, I, well just keeping the habit up. Yeah, yeah right. You've, you've, too, you, the you took a long it. yeah you took a long time to probably build the discipline of training every morning at five o'clock in the morning. You know you need to take some time off mm -hmm. of hammering the weight. So I'm not going to stop getting up at five in the morning and going yeah. to the gym or doing thing. Instead, now I'm just going to walk, you know, or yeah. swim or do the sauna for an hour. It's like keep that habit that you've built of showing up to the location or whatever wherever you're lifting or exercising. Keep that consistent. Just modify it. now. I, I, what we don't know is this could be a question from somebody who's got like a week vacation coming up, yeah. you know, where they're taking off for a week somewhere. And if that's the case, then I just, I well, wouldn't worry about it. No. And, and I tell you what, vacation. when I go on vacations, I'll usually do some workouts if there's a, like a gym, but the hotel gyms are usually crap. So I'm not training it anywhere near the intensity or volume yeah. or whatever. So it's, it's kind of like, it's not a week off, but it's kind of like deload or whatever. When I come back, I always have the best workouts. Mm -hmm. So I would say if all things being equal, if you compare two very consistent people and one person took two weeks off every six months and the other person took no weeks off, uh, physically speaking, the performance, muscle, and strength gains will be better with the person that took the weeks off yeah. because uh, you, your body needs some of that. And it does resensitize your body to exercise. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.